My name is Lloyd Muncie. I'm with Chickasaw Electric Cooperative, manager of financial services. Chickasaw built 9.1 miles of line from the Dancefield substation to the solar West Tennessee solar farm. Another key partner has been Chickasaw Rural <coughs> Electric Co-op. We had to have a way to get the power, the electricity made here on the solar farm to the TVA grid. They put up or improved over nine miles of transmission lines, which uh, allow us to move the power from the farm <coughs> into the TVA grid. And they've been extremely responsive and, and a true partner in this venture. We signed a contract on May 26. Our due date was March the 2nd as a completion date. We actually energized the farm on November the 14th. What you can't see from this vantage point is the nine miles of transmission line and the substation upgrades that were performed by Chickasaw Electric and its subcontractors, whose tremendous efforts allowed for the line from the solar farm to the substation to be energized 78 days ahead of schedule. We had 9.1 miles of line that we had to upgrade. Some of it was uh, uh, territory that we had to acquire and build a new line into. Some of it we had to rebuild, some of it we moved to the road. Uh, we had to build 9.1 miles of double circuit line to move the power from the solar farm to the Danceville substation. We had to upgrade the substation. We had to install a, uh, a dual winding transformer to feed the farm. Due to the distance the farm is from the substation, we had to put in a three winding transformer, 161, 24, 13 kV transformer. We also put in a control house with new relaying, relaying to handle um, the backwards flow of energy. TVA also had us install a new meter. Um, in the process, it was the election of the West Tennessee Solar folks to put in a redundant transformer uh, due to the special transformer needs. So we actually installed two transformers at the Danceville Association. In a very innovative local utility company in Chickasaw Electric Cooperative. The, this project uh, has been uh, something that is monumental to Chickasaw Electric. I don't think Chickasaw has ever taken on a project of this, this scope before. When they first approached us, we were a little hesitant about, about jumping in this project, uh, but we realized that we were the only option if they were going to get power back to TVA for sale. So we adopted the process. Uh, we learned a lot of things on the way, and at the end, uh, I, think, I think we're better off for it. The members of Chickasaw Electric will benefit from the, the 9.1 miles of line and the distribution upgrades. We, we, we had to, of course, we put redundant transformers in the Danceville substation, so any customer that's fed off that substation is going to benefit from that. The 9.1 miles of line we took from a single circuit to a double circuit. Uh, we cleared right away. We brought it closer to the road. So our members will uh, enjoy the benefits of uh, a, a more reliable power line feeding their service area. Um, we, we took on this project last year in May. Uh, we finally got the go-ahead. Uh, we had significant impacts uh, that we weren't, we did not realize. One major obstacle was a, a Buy American um, provision in the contract, uh, which we thought, you know, Buy American, that should be pretty simple. But the documentation to prove that something was bought or made in America uh, proved pretty, pretty hard to do. We, we had our warehouse personnel really step up to acquire this, this documentation of the Buy American. Um, and once we got past that, then we had other obstacles. We had our human resource department that had to go through the Davis-Bacon Act. They'd make sure our employees were being paid the correct amount for the job that they were doing at hand. We had our linemen that worked through an extremely hot summer uh, through some adverse weather conditions, and uh, they still managed to finish up the line early and on time.